Hey, what's up, YouTube? Joker of Skyarchy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate the uh, Video Copilot um, Particle Shadow uh, Ball. The original one was created in 3ds Max, and I'm going to show you how to create it in Cinema 4D. So the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, get a sphere. You're going to want to bring the segments anywhere between 50 and 60, to, depending on you know how many chunks you're going to be taking out of this thing. So you're going to bring that up. Then you're going to uh, make it an editable, editable polygon by either pressing C on the keyboard or this button here. Um, the next thing you're going to do is put it in polygon mode. Then you're going to take this rectangle tool here and uh, this select only select visible elements. Then you're going to middle click or this window click here and go to front or right view. Then you're going to um, start just taking chunks out of uh, the sphere wherever you want to until you get it looking how you want it to look. So, just do that. And, um, get back to you in a minute here. Alright, so now that we have it all cut out and such, um, you know, I did a different view, so I, I cut it out like basically 360. Uh, you're going to want to make this thicker, and 3ds Max has a plugin that's called Shell, which makes it thicker, but Cinema 4D doesn't, so I've, I found a way around that. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Effects, and you're going to go to Explosion Effects. And you're going to want to drag that under Sphere. Then what you're going to do is go to Object, take the time down to zero percent then you can see now that it looks thicker so now what you're going to do is right click and say current state to object and delete your original sphere and now you have this editable um, thick sphere so now what you're going to do is um, go to loop selector by pressing UL or selection loop selection and you're going to select all these edges by holding in shift Alright, now that we have all the edges selected, you're going to want to press I on your keyboard, um, and that should bring it to inner extrude. Then you're going to want to go to maximum angle and go to 100. So, uh, if you don't do that, you're going to notice that when you start to inner extrude that you get some little corner edges here that you're not going to want. Um, also, bring the offset to, um, let's go with 2, and press enter. Uh, and then you can see that we got this kind of stripe thing going here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is press D to go do extrude, and you're going to want to do the same thing. Bring the maximum angle up to 100, but change the offset to negative 5 so that it goes inward not outward. You can see here that we've kind of created the same effect that he's got going on here. The only difference now is that in his the inside is a little rounded off. And to do that we're going to uh, go to bevel by pressing S on your keyboard. Again bring the maximum angle up to 100 but bring the extrusion to 0.9 and the inner offset to 0.92 also and that what it does then is round off the inside and keep the outside corner like he's got going on in his um that's pretty much it you can you know add textures or whatever you want to and once you're in your render settings, you want to go to save and have your format as a uh, PNG. And then what you want to do is uh, basically save it in in a folder itself. Otherwise, you uh, 
are going to get 90 pictures on your desktop in your My Documents. Just make a folder to put all the PNG uh, pictures in. And uh, then it should, you'll, you'll have like, then what, what he did was he drug all the PNGs uh, into After Effects as a like a PNG sequence kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's how you make the um, video copilot uh, ball. Oh, and uh, don't forget to uh, select alpha channel when you're making a PNG. Otherwise, it'll just come out as a black background. Alright guys, this is uh, Joker of Skyarchy, and I'm out.